today I'm going to show you some white wax. And to do that, I'm going to paint this chair. I'm going to give it a coastal look. I think this has got a sort of deck chair look about it. And I'm going to paint it in Paris grey, and then I'm going to put the white wax on it. I'm going to go all over with the Paris grey. I'm going to go in the direction of the slats. I don't want to go every which way, which I sometimes do. So brush work is very, very important. The way you hold your brush and the way you use your brush for each piece will make a huge difference. So sometimes you might paint every which way and other times you might paint like this, up and down. As I said, this is for a coastal look and something a little bit modern. I don't want it to look very distressed. So now I'm going to apply the white wax to this piece of furniture. It's good for coastal looks, I think it's good for Swedish looks, or just when you want to make something really gentle and quiet. So um, I've got my wax brush, I've got my wax, my white wax, and this one I'm not going to put any clear wax on at all. And I'm just going to start waxing it and just get as much as I want. I quite like the way that it's slightly uneven looking, getting the pointy bit of that going into there and places and, and softening it out, just using very lightly the wax brush there. So it's not always brushing on heavily, but sometimes just lightly doing it. So you've got actually a little bit of a stripe going on and some places you even make use of the fact that it goes on a bit unevenly. That's that whole bleached look. But of course I could if I wanted to, and even in places I might take a cloth and just wipe it away a bit so it's very gentle. It doesn't have to be even all over. If I was going to do a Swedish look, I may brush in slightly more. If there was any carving, I might allow the white wax to go into the crevices and the other part I'd wipe away. What I like about it is it sort of changes the whole look, um, the colour as well, the, the look and the colour. So there it's very flat and here you've suddenly got a lot of depth to it. It's a very pleasing finish this. So here's my coastal chair, looking a bit like driftwood and ready to go. Um, actually, I need to leave it a few days to harden, so the wax hardens. At the moment, it's still a little bit soft, so leave it a few days and then it's ready to go and it'll be really hard wearing. Mm -hmm. 